Clark.com. I'm Banjo Ben, your host here on the West Side to teach you how to play guitar, mandolin. This week is Banjo Week. We've got a really fun one. It's a challenging one, but it's a fun one. I asked folks on my Facebook page what they wanted to learn, and they said Arkansas Traveler. So we're doing Arkansas Traveler. Then I asked, what position do you want to do it out of? Open D, because it's in the key of D, or do you want to capo up to two and get some practice playing out of the C position? And that's what folks wanted to do. So um, it was a bit challenging, but I really like this arrangement. It's a typical fiddle tune. The first A and the first B parts, we're going to do it more of Scruggs style, and then we're going to get really melodic in the second half and introduce some triplets, things like that. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube here in a moment, I'll ask you to come over to the website, banjobanclark.com. You can watch this full 20 plus minute video lesson, download the tabs exactly as I played it. I've got three different speeds of rhythm tracks for you, and then I have hundreds of other lessons. Um, on there as well. So you can check all those out. All right, let's jump right into Arkansas Traveler. Arkansas Traveler on the banjo. We're going to do some really fun stuff to play this one. Uh, so I hope you're up for that. Now, you know, Arkansas Traveler is in the key of D, and I debated about whether to play it in uh, open tuning without a capo in the D shape or to go capo two and play it in C shape. And that's what we ended up doing because that's uh, what some folks on Facebook wanted to do. So, so really you can think about this song, even though it's in D, you can think about it as playing out of a C position. Okay, so I'm going to capo up to the second fret, which takes us from C to D, and then I'm gonna take my fifth string and I'm going to put it under my seventh fret uh, spike to take it up to an A note, so my notes. It's exactly how I'd be tuned if I was playing in A, right? But then we're gonna play out of a C position. You know, this song only has three chords. It changes really fast. But it's got a C chord, an F chord, and a G chord, okay? And so the, the real challenge here is to figure out how to get all these melody notes in there. Now let's go ahead and throw up the first line of tab. First thing I want you to notice is I've got all of our pick hand indications down beneath each one of the notes. So a T would stand for thumb, one would stand for index, and two would stand for middle. And that's very important because we're playing more of a melodic style today and our thumb's gonna be really busy. Our thumb's gonna be playing all over the place. So I want you to pay attention to that. It'll make it easier to play. We've got a two measure kickoff here. It sounds like this. Okay. Uh, you don't have to play that, but I just gave you that to serve as an intro in case you want it. Then when we get into measure three, we start into this first A part, uh, which will last eight measures. Then we'll repeat the A part. Then we'll go into the B parts. So the first A part and the first B part, I wanted to give you more a Scruggs style, not completely melodic. We are gonna get completely melodic with it, but here I, would, I was kind of thinking, you know, without doing any research on how he might have played it, how would Scruggs maybe play Arkansas Traveler? Um, and, and you know, I wanna get some, uh, some very important melody notes in there, especially right at the beginning. I want folks to know what, kind, what the song sounds like. Um, and the, the melody goes like this. Okay, so how do we get that without being melodic? Now I go melodic later to be able to get all those notes. But here we're not going to. Let's go into a partial C shape. So I've got my index finger down on the second, or on first fret, and my ring finger here. <clears throat> and I'm going to play this uh, through those first two strings, and then I'm going, I'm going to pull off to get my melody note there on the second beat of measure three. And come back down. So you want to make sure that that pull off is nice and strong. And that it doesn't rush. That's an eighth note pull off, so it's going just as fast as your other eighth notes. Now we're going to do a little hammer on measure four. 
Okay, so let me just play slowly uh, measures one through four. I'll do it much slower later on uh, when we play through it together. Now the chord goes to uh, measure five to an A chord. But of course we're playing, you know, with a capo on. So though the, you know, everybody else is playing an A chord, we're thinking G chord in our mind because we're capoed up too. Okay, and I got to think about what is the melody doing here? And the melody goes bum, 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 bum. Okay, so I want to catch a few of those notes. Uh, so I'm going to do this uh, reverse forward roll. I'm going to do a couple of them in a row here, measure five. It's going to sound like this. I reached down there and grabbed that third fret for a reason. Um, this is uh, the flat seven of that G chord. And so we're going from a G back up to a C shape and that just kind of points our ear back there. And then we're going to get a little melodic with it here in measure six. So I want you to, um, to jump up and grab that fifth fret with your ring finger. And then we have a little repeating here, measure seven. So let me play five through eight slowly. Now we're going to go up the neck measure nine because to me, there's no way that you can really play Arkansas Traveler without jumping up and grabbing this part. Um, the the uh, melody sounds like this. That's the straight up melody. So we're going to do something very similar to that. And we are going to get melodic on it here, even though the position that we're going to may be kind of familiar to you. But I want you to jump up and grab the 10th and 12th fret. Now, of course, we got the capo on, so really this is the 12th and 14th. But I'm speaking capo language here. And I want you to jump up there and grab that, and you'll notice I play that B string with my thumb. So just take this in chunks. Then I want you to bar across the 10th fret, do a forward roll, and then a reverse roll, and come down and grab three and five. And then we'll land there on that double stop, okay? So it sounds like this. Now we're going to go into that second A part. We're going to introduce some triplets and get really melodic. And so